In this particular lecture, let's learn how we could create our very first React project using Wheat. So in the older versions of React, we used to use the Create React app, which was an app to create the React app itself. But as we are learning the latest version of React, let's go ahead and let's use Wheat, which is a much better tool to create our React project. So in order to create a React project, I would actually go ahead and create a new folder on the desktop. So this step is completely optional. You could create your React project anywhere, but here I'm sort of creating a container folder, which is going to contain our entire React project. So over here, let's rename this thing to something like my project. And once we have this particular folder, here is where I will be creating my React app. So there are actually two ways of creating a React app. One is you could create a React app using your terminal. So if you have your terminal open, you could create that React app from here. You could navigate to the desktop and you have to navigate to this project to do that. But a simpler approach is to simply make use of VS Code. So simply open up VS Code and in VS Code, open up the folder which we have just created. So simply open up the My Project here. And once we have opened up My Project, what you could do is you could open up the terminal from here. So simply go to the terminal bar, click on new terminal. This is how you open up terminal on a Mac. So once the terminal is opened up, you'll straight away notice that it actually opens up at this location, which is nothing but the container of our project. And over here, in order to create a React app using Vite, you have to type in npm create and then type in Vite and make sure that you are using the version of Wheat which I'm using right now, or else you're going to get a different React app created. So here I would type an at in order to specify the version number. So at 4.1.0. So if I go ahead and hit enter, it's going to ask you that if you want to install the following packages, I would say yes. So type in Y and hit enter. And here it's going to ask us to name our project. So you could name your project as anything. So let's name our project as let's say React Pro. And then it's going to ask you to select the frameworks. So Vite actually gives you a whole bunch of options which you could choose from. So you could create a vanilla JS project, you could create a Vue project, or you could create a React project as well. So here, just move to React, hit enter. And then again, you have multiple choices if you want to create a React app using JavaScript or TypeScript. So over here, I would say that I want to use JavaScript for my React project. So simply make sure that the pointer is on JavaScript, hit enter. And that has actually created the React project for you. So if you take a look on the left hand side, this is where our React project is. And this is how quickly Vite actually creates a React project for you. Now, once you have created this particular project, in order to run this project, you first have to change the directory and go into your React project directory. So over here, I would say CD React Pro. So this takes us to this directory. And after going in there, you need to type in the command, which is npm install. And what this command does is that it takes all the dependencies, which we have in this package.json file, and it installs those dependencies for us. So over here, after this, I would say npm install, hit enter, and that's actually going to install all the dependencies for us. Now, once all the dependencies are installed, we could finally go ahead and run our React application by making use of this command, which is npm run dev. So over here, I could say npm run dev, hit enter. And now Vite has actually started a React project at this particular location. So Vite has actually hosted a server and it's actually running our React app on that server. So if you want to open up our application, you could copy this particular URL or you could press the control key or command key and click on this particular link and it will automatically open up the React app inside of a browser. So here, as you can see, our React app is now up and running. And by default, it kind of gives you this particular page wherein you have this icons for Vite and React. You have the heading Vite and React, and then they also give you this counter as well. So if you get this particular page, that means your React application is successfully up and running. And if you want to stop this particular server, what you could do is you could go back here, press Control C, on Mac or Windows, and that's actually going to stop the server from executing. So now if you go back to the browser and hit refresh, as you can see, it says the site can be reached. 
And if you want to restart your server, you again have to type in this command, which is npm run dev. And that's actually going to start back your server. So if you go ahead and hit refresh, as you can see, your server is up and running. So this is how you could go ahead and create a React app using Vite. So once the React app is created, in the next lecture, let's try to go ahead and understand this particular project structure which we have for our React application.